In the middle of Mad Mart, one of the toughest gigs in town is that of the Adelaide Festival director. But I managed to lure Paul Grabowski away from the bright lights for a quick chat. <laughs> Paul, the festival well and truly in, in full swing. I'm always curious, how do you go about selecting what goes into a festival? Well, there's a lot of work that goes into programming. First, you've got to be aware of what's out there. So um, I do a lot of research online. Uh, I've got my own likes and dislikes, of course, so there are things that I'm chasing. And uh, a lot of that involves going overseas and actually then seeing things, meeting people, lots of discussions. You know, people would imagine that a festival director's life is very glamorous, but actually these overseas trips are merciless in their schedule. And every director, no doubt, wants to bring their own feel to a festival. So when you looked at this year's, what was the overall feel you were trying to achieve? Well, you know, uh, I wanted to bring some of the greatest artists in the world to Adelaide. Um, and I think we've been pretty lucky this year in pretty much everything that we wanted to get, we've managed to achieve. So is that because the festival's been around for such a long time? Do they know about us? Oh, they sure do. You know, don't forget that the Adelaide Festival for many years was uh, the main arts festival in Australia. It started in 1960. And uh, for you know, a lot of that time, there wasn't really stiff competition to it at all. Other arts festivals uh, in the eastern states only really started in the, the late 80s. So that kind of history uh, meant that Adelaide is still very much cemented in people's imaginations as the main festival overseas. Now, of course, people know you before this as having a really strong musical career. Mm. So is it hard when you're looking at the program to put your passions to one side or are they things that you try and include? Look, I try and include it. I think people would expect that of me. And um, I love music, but I love all the other arts as well. So it's just a matter of, uh, you know, putting it together in a way which makes sense. Absolutely. Um, and I have to ask you, is a festival about being entertaining or is it also about um, prodding and poking and being controversial? Because that's, that Hungarian work, I think, is, is really thought-provoking. <laughs> Indeed. Um, well, look, a festival, I think, should challenge, it should entertain, it should do all of those things. Art is there to, you know, enable us to dream and to remind us of what is possible uh, to achieve in life and also to ask the big questions, not necessarily to answer them, but certainly to help us to understand you know, various aspects of life. So within those very big concepts, there's an awful lot of ways you can cut that deck. And I think a festival is a good way to you know, lay out a kind of an agenda for people and get them thinking, yeah. Now, not originally from Adelaide, no. but obviously you've embraced it. What's your favourite part of Adelaide? Well, I'd say we're sitting in one of them. Uh, you know, Adelaide is, very blessed because it's not only a beautiful city but it's also surrounded by beautiful places. Uh, one of my favourite things to do is to drive down to Wollonga, to the, the beaches along there. Gorgeous. Um, you know there's a restaurant that people will know down there called the Star of yeah. Greece which I think is a really, you know, it's got to be one of the most beautiful situated places to eat probably in the world. Mm. There's so much to see around, around the environs of Adelaide and the city itself um, is a very beautiful and easy place to live. Well, we're smack in the middle of the festival. Give us an idea of some of the free events that are still available. Well, the main one that I would always uh, attract people to is the Barrio, our festival club, which uh, has an extraordinary array of very unusual, wacky, zany, wonderful, spectacular events every night, free. <laughs> I have to ask, in your legacy, when they say, oh, they were the, the festivals that Paul did, mm. what's the word that you'd like them to, uh, to put with your stamp, as it were? Inclusive. Well, I tell you what, it's shaping up to be a great success. So thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure, Lee.